Okay, next you want to take your first assembly and second assembly. Now, if you want to make your life easy, now would be a good time to put in this board. Um, just pop it in like that, get the cover, put it on, and I'm pretty sure it uses uh, four of the... Okay, then it uses four 1033 screws in those four spots. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to do that because I want to do adjustments to this board and I would suggest you do the same. So actually leave the board out for now um, because doing adjustments is going to be a lot easier with an exposed board even if it's going to be hard to reach the screws later on. Now you want to take your bottom section here put that flat on the table take the middle section get that lined up and just slowly at all four corners push it on try and go evenly so I've stacked up all the rods here you want to take the second to longest rod so for me that's these ones here so the medium length and uh, you want them okay next you need these ones the medium length rods okay you also want four LM8 you use no idea there are linear bearings. You want four of the 1005s, the bearing holders, and four of the rod end caps, which are 1002. Take the rods out of their package. Now they've got some oil on them, and uh, this oil, it could be good, but I have no idea what kind of oil it is. So I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol. Them out and clean them down. Once you've cleaned them off, you just want to take some light oil. I'm going to use uh, this 3 in 1 stuff here. Um, you can also use shaver oil or uh, something from my hair clippers or sewing machines. And uh, just put a bit of this on this towel here and just rub the rods down with that. Now I'm also, now you don't have to do this because they're oiled from the factory, but uh, just for extra protection, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of oil into this uh, bearing here, um, into each bearing. I'm going to take your rods, slide them through the holes here, and just very carefully slip these bearings on now. These loose balls, just saying right now, you can pop the balls out of the bearings. So just do it very carefully. So you don't pop out any of those balls. Okay, so now next you want to take the uh, limit switch, 1042, uh, 1008 plastic part, and three of these 1033 screws here. And this 1008, I'm just going to take a large drill bit here and uh, just ream out these holes and it should make them easier to thread because I've got to put the M3 into them. Okay, so these just go down facing like that. Uh, in between the two screws. So then you want to take this limit switch here. Uh, once you've assembled it, just put that extra 1033 in the bottom there. And just this back left rod here. Just slip it onto there. And uh, put that back in place. Now take these four end caps. And slip them over either end of the rods. And just kind of squeeze them place. Then take your bearing clips, just clip them onto each bearing. Okay, so next you want to take your uh, 1030 for the front cover, the 1031 for the back cover, and the two side covers are 1029. Sticky was terrible to get off these, it was just like a nightmare. I used some mineral turpentine, uh, it worked pretty well on the sticky. Nothing else really budged it. Uh, then I just cleaned the residue from the mineral turpentine off with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Anyway, so if you've got the LCD upgrade, this hole here has to go on the left side, but mine looks kind of ratty on the front here. So I'm actually going to flip it over, and if I install an LCD, I'll just install on the right side here instead of on the left side there. Um, and they just sit on each side, and you screw them in in all the holes that are there. Uh, so you just need 32 of the 103 twos for this. 
screwing on these panels is the last step of this part. Uh, so watch me do that in fast motion and once you're done doing them, you've finished part three. Let's move on to part four. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.